Have you ever wondered why the ilt's writing tasks seem so daunting? You're not alone. Many grapple with understanding the question at hand, organizing thoughts in a clear and logical manner, and choosing the right language to express their ideas. These challenges can feel like a mountain to climb, but remember, every mountain can be conquered one step at a time, and that's what we're here to do. Well, fear no more. Today, we will break down these tasks step by step. Task 1 of the IELTS writing exam requires you to describe, summarize or explain some visual information. This might sound daunting, but it's not as complex as it seems. Let's break it down into manageable steps. First, you need to read the question. This might seem obvious, but it's crucial. Understanding the question fully is the first step towards answering it correctly. You're not just looking at the words, but the meaning behind them. Next, you'll need to understand the visual information presented to you. This could be a chart, a graph, a table, or even a diagram. Take a moment to digest what you're seeing. Look for patterns, differences, and important points. This will form the basis of your response. Now it's time to plan your response. Don't rush into writing. Take a moment to think about what you're going to say. What are the key points you need to cover? How will you structure your response? It's like building a house. You wouldn't start without a blueprint, would you? Once you've planned, you're ready to write your response. Remember to stay focused on the question and the visual information. Don't stray off topic. Finally, review your work. Check for spelling and grammar errors, but also make sure you've answered the question fully and stayed on topic. Remember, the key to task one is staying on topic and answering the question fully. Task 2 is a bit more challenging. It asks you to write an essay in response to a point of view, argument, or problem. It's like a mini-debate, where you're the only speaker, so you need to make sure your points are solid and your argument is convincing. Let's break it down into steps. First, understand the question. This might seem obvious, but it's so easy to misinterpret what's being asked. Take a moment to read the task carefully. Identify the main topic and any subtopics that need to be addressed. Next, plan your response. Don't just jump into writing. Spend a few minutes jotting down your ideas, creating a roadmap for your essay. This will help you stay focused and ensure you cover all the points you need to. Once you have a plan, it's time to write your introduction. This is your chance to make a strong first impression. Your introduction should briefly explain your understanding of the topic and outline your main arguments. Now, onto the body of the essay, this is where you develop your ideas. Each paragraph should focus on one main point, supported by relevant examples or evidence. Remember, it's not just about stating your opinion, you need to back it up. Once you've made your arguments, it's time to wrap things up with a conclusion. This is where you summarize your main points and reiterate your stance on the topic. Think of it as the closing statement in your one-person debate. Finally, review your work. Check for any mistakes or areas that could be improved. Make sure your argument is clear and your essay is well-structured. And there you have it, the steps to approach IELTS writing task 2. It might seem daunting, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. Remember, task 2 is all about presenting a clear, well-structured argument with relevant examples. So take a deep breath, pick up your pen, and let your ideas flow. To recap, both tasks require a thorough understanding of the question, a well-planned response, and careful review. In task one, you'll be interpreting information from a graph, chart, or diagram. So it's crucial that you familiarize yourself with different data types and how to describe them effectively. A structured approach is vital here, making sure to introduce your answer, detail the key features, and summarize the overall trends. Moving on to task two, you're asked to write an essay in response to a point of view, argument or problem. Here, it's about developing a clear position, supporting it with relevant examples, and organizing your ideas logically. Remember, language is key. Use a variety of sentence structures, vocabulary, and ensure your grammar is on point. Don't stray off topic and always keep an eye on the clock. With these tips in mind, you're well on your way to acing the ILTS writing tasks. Happy studying!